Hello and welcome. My name is Kel, and this is the very first of hopefully many episodes of the Wilderness Beyond. Today, I'm excited to announce that I'm going to be through hiking the Superior Hiking Trail June 7th to about the 20th, 2021. I'll be leaving my house in southern Minnesota, heading to Duluth at 5 a.m. Uh, I will meet up with the gentleman from Cadillac Cabs at the Martin Road Trailhead. From there, we'll drive three hours north to the 270 Overlook. Once I'm dropped off, the plan is to hike three days, maybe four, depending on circumstances, to Grand Marais. Uh, in Grand Marais, I'll be heading to the post office and I will pick up a resupply, probably grab some good grub at some restaurant that I find nearby. From there, I'm planning on six days, but I'm bringing seven days of food just in case. Again, who knows? Uh, and then I will resupply in Beaver Bay. From Beaver Bay, it's about four days to the Martin Road Trailhead. And then uh, hopefully mission accomplished. But anyways, uh, why don't we get into what I'm gonna be bringing on the trail with me today. Um, First thing I got is the Black Diamond Trekking Poles. Very nice. I really like them. Uh, a little bit of duct tape, just in case. Who knows? There is no certain order to how I pack this, kind of how I'm going to plan on bringing it. Uh, things might change, a couple items here and there, but for the most part, this is. This is how it'll be. Um, I'm just going to start unloading everything and I'll talk about it as I go. Got a pair of Anchor wireless headphones. Got a Sea to Summit head net. That is key. Especially going in July, there's going to be bugs everywhere, but I enjoy the, the heat in the summer. Got a smart water bottle, another smart water bottle with a Sawyer squeeze. In this pocket. I have just a bunch of odds and ends, some vitamin I, earplugs, band-aids, uh, extra Sawyer filter O-ring deal, some odds and ends. In the mesh pocket, we got some good old toilet paper, or as Darwin calls them, shit tickets. I really enjoy that term. Got a ground sheet that I use as a sit pad, lay pad. Uh, use it for a bunch of stuff. Got my rain jacket, which is the Marmot pre sip. Really nice. I've enjoyed it. Steaks. I think I have about six, maybe eight ish, but uh, just some Dutchware and whatever came with the tent I have. Little V steaks, a little bit of reflective cord so I don't run into it at night. This is the first of two Anchor power supply battery or portable batteries. Uh, it's definitely overkill, but I'm going to be recording with my phone. It's a first for me, documenting the trip as a phone cable. It's 
is the light AF food bag. This thing is awesome. I like it. I'm not going to get into the food I'm going to bring unless you guys want me to. Go ahead and leave a comment down below if you do. But what I do got in here, seeing as how I can't find a place for it anywhere else, I have the Tokes spoon, long handled spoon. Got the MSR pocket rocket stove. Little dish guy, scrubber, and a little lighter. This is probably the favorite of all of it. It is the MSR Titan kettle. This thing is amazing. I use it for everything. Got the rest of my electronics. I have the BioLite headlamp, which is awesome. Very light. The second of Anchor portable batteries. They are 20,100 milliamps. I have a dual USB charger for when I get somewhere hopefully to charge. I don't know if I will or not, but hopefully uh, I can take care of that somewhere. SD cards, some cables, the regular. I have tent uh, poles in the tent. I have a Therma Rest X Therm. This thing is nice. I like it. It's decent. Uh, very expensive and it sounds like you're sleeping on a space blanket, but it does the job. And if you don't know, you put a trash compactor bag inside because it just works. You could have a $10 backpack and turn it into a perfect bag, waterproof bag with a 10 cent trash compactor bag. So go get it. Go get it. Clothes. Clothes bag. Regular clothes bag for a can of beer. A sleep shirt slash hiking shirt. Gonna do the outdoor research. Super light, really nice and comfortable. Extra pair of boxers. These are just REI something or others. A pair of Injinji toe socks for sleeping and in case the hiking gets really bad. Some darn tough socks, extra pair. A beanie for when I'm sleeping and in the morning. It gets pretty chilly up there on Lake Superior. Uh, long underwear. This is the Smart Wool 150 bottoms. And extra hiking shirt is going to be Columbia Silver Ridge, I think it is. Uh, these are amazing as well. I would suggest these, recommend them. I'm 
my tent is the Big Agnes Copper Spur HV UL1. Very nice, easy to set up. I uh, haven't really gotten to use it too much. Uh, we'll see how it works out. A Trekology little inflatable pillow. This here is a Sea to Summit Sill Nylon Dry Bag. Inside I have my 20 degree hemp gear top quilt and yeah I guess we could talk about the pack I got the ULA circuit this thing has been very good I don't have any real complaints uh, but if I knew then what I know now I would have probably gotten a I think it's the hyperlite it would just be a few ounces lighter and also I ended up getting the S straps instead of the J straps for whatever reason I don't know if it is even making a big difference but yeah everything seems to be working out at the moment but I guess we'll find out when I end up walking 300 miles but yeah I think I got like a buff there'll be some odds and ends here and there that I I forget to mention uh, what I'll be wearing on the trail is I have the Solomon 3d chassis with super feet insoles the insoles i'm excited about because the ones that come with those are nothing then i have another pair of darn tough socks that i'll be wearing i have a pair of i think it's pronounced cool convertible pants again another awesome item that I'm excited about. The bugs are going to be terrible. So a long sleeve and a long pair of pants is going to be key, I'm hoping. This will be the shirt I'll start out with. Again, another Columbia Silver Ridge. I have like a hundred of those. And I think that's it. I don't really know what else at the moment. Um, yeah, but, uh, thanks for watching. If you found any value in this, please, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Uh, I really appreciate that. If you guys have any questions or suggestions for me, I would really appreciate it. This will be my longest trip of my life. Uh, the longest trip I've had was probably about four days and it went perfect. So I'm, I'm really hoping this will go just fine as well. So anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in. And if there's anything you'd like me to make a video of or, or any, again, any suggestions or questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.